The Spirit Store is a, is a small, funky pub located on the Keys in Dundalk. I've been putting off contacting the Spirit Store for a long time. Um, first proper gig I had done since 2006, did a few small gigs there, but I hadn't really done one. And I decided I'd better get around to doing this or I'm not going to do it. I was quite nervous, but I felt the songs wanted to get out to the world again. The first one is just giving thanks to Uncle Bob Dylan, who is uh, 70 this May. And I remember as a 13-year-old fellow back in Yonkers, New York, hearing the strange lyrics of that man. And <laughs> life was never the same. So uh, it's just uh, thanks for, to Bob for all the gifts he's given so many of us who, who enjoy them. In the River is probably my favorite song. And it's a song which I never know quite what it's about. And I reflect back, how did that song get written? About a figure, a woman floating in the river, who one sees, and then one, a woman who's called into the underworld, drawn to the underworld. And again, I marvel at where language comes from. I remember Bob Dylan said, words are in the air, and sometimes you just reach out and you pull them and you haven't a clue where they came from. And they're just like these wonderful gifts. But it's a song I absolutely love to sing. In the river, coming closer, her body right in front of me. Then I knew it was her. I the one I saw yesterday It was a conscious decision to invite a, a poet, a good friend, Seamus Cashman, to be part of the evening. Seamus and I have worked together for several years now and one of our, our explorations has been the relationship of poetry and music. Uh, also the relationship of poems and songwriting. How are they similar? How are they different? So I felt it was very fitting and um, to ask Seamus to, to f find poems that fit in to, uh, the context of the songs that we're doing for the evening. When the carnival came, nobody noticed what was missing. There was a wonderful prologue telling all how rooted in time and place we are paddling under bridge eyes, touching river fish, breaking stones, dreaming of distant silent lands not really that far off, reaching out to darkest Africa and further back to Amergin, poet of poets. The song Age Old Questions, um, like I said, it's always a special place in my heart. It was the chords for the song or something I played for my daughter when she was very young, falling asleep at night. We used to play the chords over and over, finger picking, nice and slow, getting softer and softer as she faded into sleep. And gradually that tune became the basis for the words that appeared in Age Old Questions. So uh, like I said, a very special song to me. Can you recall a time when you were wild? Was it long ago when you were a child? Time rolling on, what do you know? Age old questions. Oh, can you tell me what do you know? Oh, can you tell me what may? 
makes it so Tell me your answer I need to know Angel questions Angel questions When I was recording that in the studio, I'd say it's the one where my voice really opened up and I felt it was a very true song. And it's, it's a song about someone leaving this world and what happens to them when they reach the other side. Um, and again, it was one of the songs that just got written in one go. I started it about f five years before it was written. It was partially written. And then one day I sat down and all the words just came. And again, it's one of those songs that feels like it's it's given to you. And uh, again, it's a very special song to me. As I crossed over to the other side Waves of love melted my fears Held so long inside and leading me to that premature goodbye it's time to open not to close your eyes are you ready to open ready to fly It was so beautiful And colors everywhere So much mercy filled the air All my sorrow, where did you go? So Is This God uh, grew out of quite a th often at the end of Tony and I practicing here in the house. This is where we did all of our practicing. Quite often we just had a bit of fun and we open up these, these blues chords. Tony would be banging away at the, the drums and I'd be banging here. Taking things like this. Is this God that I hear? Is that you talking in my ear? Whispering low, making me slow Down so you may appear On this night with your moon so bright Thy will be done Unshackle these chains Then this will remain Illumination shining out through your every vein On this night with your moon so bright I will be done I'd like to say something about this beautiful Loudon guitar. I'm going to put it here so you can see Loudon. Uh, it's, it's a beautiful guitar made up in Northern Ireland and uh, a good friend and myself went up to the north, uh, Northern Ireland, the day that President Clinton was in Ireland, one of the days he was here, and um, tried out different guitars and as soon as I played it, I loved it. I absolutely loved the sound from it. And uh, we brought it back to Dundalk and on this guitar for maybe 15 years now, all the songs, all the moods, the feelings that we played, and it's probably one of the most prized possessions, which and I, I just love it dearly. And, and thank you to George Loudon for making such gorgeous instruments. Mm -hmm.